There's a new slicer in town and it's quickly becoming the best slicer you can use for 3D printing. Let's get it installed and check it out. So if you have not heard about Orca Slicer, it's time you did. Actually, Orca Slicer is a fork of Bamboo Studio, which is made by Bamboo Lab. And don't forget that Bamboo Studio is actually based on Prusa Slicer, Super Slicer, and Slick 3R. All open source and always getting better. So let's get it installed and check it out. The first thing we wanna do is download Orca Slicer. Go to the link in the description below, scroll down to the assets section, and download the version that's right for you. I'm gonna download the Win64 version for my Windows machine, but there's also Linux and Mac versions if that's what you're using. So go ahead and click that and download it. Once it's downloaded, you want to extract that file because it downloads as a zip file. So go to the folder that it downloaded to, right click and choose extract if you're on a Windows machine. This will actually unzip it or extract it all to the same folder. So if it's in your downloads folder, the extracted version will be in your downloads folder as well. If you're Linux or Mac, that's gonna be a little bit different. Everything I do today is gonna to be based on Windows. So if you wanna move the extracted folder, now is the time to do that. You can just grab the extracted folder and drag it to any other directory or place you want, like on the desktop or whatever. If not, you can open that folder now, scroll down to the orca slicer.exe file and double click it to open it. You may get a warning in Windows that looks something like this. If you feel comfortable, click more info and run anyway, and that will allow the install to continue. When it opens, click that get started button. From there, you'll be able to choose the country that you're in or that you're closest to. And when you get past that screen, you'll go into the printer selection screen. You wanna add all of the printers that you wanna to add to Orca Slicer right away. In my case, I'm gonna choose the X1 Carbon and the P1P and all of the nozzle options that go with it. That way they're ready to go in my slicer anytime I swap out those nozzles. If you click next here, you'll go to the filament screen and you'll choose all of the filament profiles you wanna use. I like to just click all and add them all because why not? But you can go through and select just the ones you wanna use and that's totally okay too. The next screen you'll see is the network plugin screen. And because I use all of my Bamboo Lab printers on the network, I'm gonna check this box and install it. If you don't wanna do that, you don't feel comfortable with that, you don't have to do that. All that's left now is just to press finish when that's all done. And that's it, Orca Slicer's officially installed. You can actually choose sign in if you wanna sign into your Bamboo Lab account and all of your Bamboo Lab printers will show up. To get started, we click that new project button and from there, our experience begins. When you're in Orca Slicer, now you can start by choosing the printer that you wanna use, the filament type that you wanna use, and then your layer height. Now just add the model you want to add and click that slice button. Once you've sliced it, you can actually drop it on an SD card and bring it to a printer if you wanna do it that way, or you can send it straight to your network printer if you have a printer that's network like the Bamboo Lab printers or that giant Rat Rig 500 we saw earlier. It's really that easy to get started. If you were already using Bamboo Studio, you're gonna feel right at home here. It is very familiar because it's almost identical. But the cool thing is they packed in a ton more features and a lot more options that you can actually play with inside of Orca Slicer. One of my favorite things you can do is go to the top left and click that calibration tab. This is gonna give you total control of any printer that you put in Orca Slicer. It gives you things like e-steps, flow rate, pressure advance, retraction, and so much more all of these calibrations and they're built right in. If you have any questions about how any of these work or how to use them or what they do, just click that tutorial button and that brings up a web page, and it is very detailed and it goes into how to use each one of these options. And I just, I love that they put so much time and effort into that web page wiki because it really helps out and you'll be able to dial your printer in so much more. On top of the awesome calibrations you can do, you can add almost any printer you want right to Orca Slicer. There's already a ton of pre-configured profiles for you to use as well. And they're always adding more. I'm actually gonna jump in and add all of the printers I use right to Orca Slicer so I can use one slicer for all of my printers across the board. The other cool thing is I can add my Rat Rig 500 that uses Clipper or a Voron printer when I get a Voron right to this as well. Not only will they work in Orca Slicer, they'll interface in Orca Slicer as well. And that's super cool because you'll be able to see all of the details right in your slicer as the printers are printing as long as they're networked. On top of all that, if your printer's networked, you'll be able to monitor it in that device tab. I fell in love with this using the Bamboo Lab printers, not only looking through the app on my desktop, but also that Bamboo Handy app on my phone. But the cool thing is, now I can add the other printers as well, like we talked about, like that Rat Rig, 
as long as it's networked, I'll be able to check that out in the device tab as well. And you can see right here that it gives you instructions on how to add it in. Overall, there are a ton of awesome features jam packed into Orca Slicer. There's way more that I could possibly show in a short video like this. And the cool thing is they're always updating and upgrading it and fixing bugs and really keeping on top. They have done just an amazing job on this slicer and I commend the team that's behind this because you guys are rock stars. But it's really hard to show you unless you try it for yourself. So I highly suggest you jump out there and try it for yourselves because you know what? It is free. That's right, it's free. Did I mention it's free? So jump into the link below, download yours, and give it a whirl. Let me know what you like about it in the comments, and if you're actually ultimately gonna make the switch to one slicer, Orca Slicer, I would love to hear that too, because I can tell you this, I am for sure. If you like what you saw here today, please hit that like button. And if you want more content based around 3D printing, CNC, and lasers, please consider hitting that subscribe button now. Also, don't forget to watch that video right there.